failure taught me all kinds of lessons. But but the big lesson was was the, the importance of, of of not the grand plan, uh, but the importance of understanding the business model and, and understanding the nuances of that and making sure that those moving parts are all working together. And had we thought about it that way, we probably moved would have moved into Charlotte but done it much slower. Uh, much more putting our toe in the water and, and, and really kind of doing this as an experiment uh, and, and, and seeing what worked and what didn't and then and then using that as a stepping stone. Um, but we kind of fell into the, the trap of the grand plan that so many of us get into that point. Hmm. What did, so once you got into, into Charlotte uh, and just after a short amount of time you kind of realized what was going on uh, yeah. and, and that it just wasn't wasn't going to work, and, and you just shut down shop. Uh, well, you know, you have employees, you have leases, uh, you have commitments. It, it, okay. It, 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 yeah, it's so the ride out. The uh, we had to, we had to while. yeah we had to we had to bleed out the mistakes a little bit. There you go. And yeah. and, uh, uh, and and it cost money. Yeah. Now, we made lots of other mistakes, but a lot and most of the times we were smart about making small mistakes that we could learn from. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was probably the, the the one I learned the most on because we kind of did the grand plan, and and, and kind of uh, went all in. And uh, um, while, while you can win a pot once in a while going all in, uh, yeah. you you get wealthy by making good small strategic bets. Mm -hmm. That's a good analogy. So when you say the, I just want to, I guess clarify the def your definition of this grand plan again for me, just so I... Oh, the grand plan was we were going to instantly build this entire system in Charlotte. Okay. And invest gobs of money that we had raised from debt and equity financing and, and replicate this, this thing and, and have the, the overarching infrastructure that worked and supported it and, and both these things just are working great. It's mm -hmm. it's sort of like the, the Disney mistake that they've made when they've gone into some international markets and they assume they just off another... Disney Copy World, it's going to be great. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. All kinds of things. Now, interestingly, by and large, our, our, our base operation was adapting in Raleigh. It was interesting that it was actually continuing to do these little experiments because that was part of our culture. And, and, and that's really what saved us, is we still had that essence there. We were able to kind of to, to retrench back to that and, and get that going again and, and then kind of re-engage our growth. How did it feel? Tell us about the emotional side of it. Was there shock? Was there disappointment? Uh, yeah, I think it's humbling, and I think that was good. Mm -hmm. It's always good, I think, um, for entrepreneurs, especially. And a lot that has a lot to do with just what you expect on the front end. If you don't get too far too far ahead of yourself and expect, okay, this isn't going to work for sure kind of a thing. It's not going to work every single time. Be a little humbler and right. be like, I'm going to make mistakes um, and really be beneficial yeah. as your story shows. Uh, I think it got too easy for us and, and we assumed that it would always be that easy. So you, you were in need of that. You were in desperate need of, of that. Of that was maybe not that, yeah. maybe not such a large one, but. Yeah, maybe we deserved <laughs> it. Maybe we deserved it. Uh, but we recovered and that's, that's the good thing is that is that we recovered and, and we did well from there and, and, and had a lot of success. You know, it wasn't a fatal error. Uh, it was a costly error. Uh, and it wasn't just the move. That's not the point of the story. The point of the story is, uh, you know, that, that we thought we could kind of do this grand, huge plan and then just get these massive expansions going. And that's just, there's too many moving parts in a dynamic market to make that work right. Yeah. And, and it might have worked right at a different time. Mm -hmm. And in a way it did, it worked right in Raleigh because we were so new to the market there, but the, the market had changed by the time we did it in Charlotte. Yeah, there are a lot of, there are a lot of lessons in there. The, 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 the dynamic market, the, uh, the dynamic uh, competitors. The, the raising money and, and then figuring out what to do with it. Almost, almost yeah. doing that. And uh, and then the the humility side or the ego yeah. side, I guess, conversely, um, yeah, that's a, that's a great. I mean, that's a great example of exactly what we're talking about.